Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life, managing money, and monetizing what you know. Today's video is going to be on how to actually use your planner. I've gotten this question a couple of times over the last two years, and I thought that this would be the perfect time to give you some tips and strategies on how to actually use your planner, because we're about to start a new cycle in July. So I'm gonna give you just a few things that I do to make sure that I am using my planner every single day and staying as productive as possible. My first tip is to choose the planner that's right for you. A lot of times we will look and see what other people are doing, what type of planner that they have, and feel like because it works for them that it's going to work for us also. Many times I have jumped on a bandwagon just because a bunch of other people are purchasing a planner only to get that planner and realize that it was a waste of money because it just didn't work for me. I do have a video comparing the Happy Planner and the Erin Condren, so I will link it there just in case you want to see the differences between those two. But I definitely say try and look at a bunch of other planner videos to see their specifics and what qualities of that planner would work best for you. My next tip is to keep your planner visible. If you take the time to plan and decorate your entire week and then put your planner up on a bookshelf or in a bag, then it makes planning the week pointless. So I would suggest to keep your planner visible in a place that you are going to see every single day. For me, it's my home office. I'm always in this space. I'm constantly in here throughout the course of the day and I usually will keep my planner on my desk open. It's always open to the current week, so then that way, as soon as I get up and I walk in my office, it's the first thing that I see. It's so much easier to plan your day if you have it open and visible in a place that you're always in. My third tip is to set a time when you're actually going to plan your day or plan your week. So for me, it's first thing in the morning, as soon as I get my coffee, I come in my office, I see my planner, I sit down, and I plan out my day. If you don't have a set morning routine, you may have to plug it into your phone to remind yourself to actually open up your planner and plan your day. But once you get into the habit of opening up your planner and planning your day, then you will see how productive you are and you will create a routine around it. So I do this for my day and I also do it for my week. Every single Saturday or Sunday, I am looking at the very next week. And I even have it in my planner to make sure that I plan out the next week. So I plan when I'm going to plan. My next tip is to use your monthly section as an overview for your month. If you make this a space where you write down all your appointments and tasks, it will automatically refer you back to your planner anytime you think of something that you need to do. So once I have set up my month, then throughout the course of my month, I'm always jotting down different things that are coming up, appointments, birthdays, anything else, so that I automatically refer back to my planner anytime anything happens throughout the course of my day. So if a friend calls and asks me to go to dinner on Friday, I automatically refer to my planner. I can check my monthly calendar and since I know I keep all of my appointments there and I'm always going there, then I can honestly say if I'm available or not. You can definitely still do this in your phone if that's your current habit. I actually like to do both. My next tip is to use your sidebar in order to plan your next week or your next month. Under my weekly planner, I use my sidebar in order to schedule anything that's coming up in the next week. And on my monthly calendar, I schedule anything that's coming up in the next month. Having this space gives me freedom to write down anything that's coming up and when I'm getting ready to plan the next month, I automatically have to come back to my planner, which means I'm using my planner. My next tip is to make a daily to-do list in your planner and start with the harder tasks first. I like using an hourly happy planner in order to schedule out my entire day, but at the very top of the planner, there is a box where I can write down any to-do list that I want to complete for that day. I will always start off with the bigger tasks, the bigger things that I need to get done for the day, and then I will taper off into the smaller tasks. So it's the morning right now, the beginning of the day is usually a time when I will film a video because filming videos 
take a lot of energy from me. So since I know that that's the case, I, it's usually at the very top of my planner and it's always the first task that I do on a specific day. But making sure that you add a to-do list to your planner will ensure that you look at your planner every single time you complete a task. My next tip is to make sure that you keep it simple. Many times when we jump into planning, especially when we start looking up videos here on YouTube, we start seeing all of these pretty planners that are fully decorated and we feel like we need to do the same. But when you start getting into color coding and adding a bunch of stickers, a lot of times it can take you away from the purpose of your planner, which is actually to be productive. So even though I love decorative planning and I love stickers and I love color coding, a lot of times I will just keep it simple and I will only use a black pen and a red pen and a few functional stickers, maybe even at the end of my planning week. You have to figure out how you can balance the functionality of your planner and the decorative side of your planner, but you just want to make sure that you don't overwhelm yourself so that you actually use your planner. A messy planner is way better than a blank one. So I hope that this actually helps you to use your planner. If you have any other additional tips, make sure that you leave them in the comments below. And in next week's video, we're gonna get into the different things that you should write in your planner. Until next time, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.